Solving equations is really the first step in what we would consider to be real algebra. And to help us solve equations, we use something that's called mental math. And mental math is basically anything that we can do in our head that was also done quickly that I don't have to write down with a piece of paper and a pencil or maybe something I've memorized like my multiplication chart. So to begin with solving equations, we're going to look at something that's called solution or not a solution. So we're going to be given an equation with two possible answers. We're going to solve it and see if the possible answer is a solution or not. Now to make that a bit more clear, let's say for example, we had n plus 5. And we're going to say that n plus 5 equals 14. Now we're going to have two possible stability. A. First off, we'll say that A will be 9 and B will be 7. So what I want to do is go back in and plug in these numbers with N to see if that number plus 5 really does equal 14. And if it does, that means that it is a solution. So I'm going to start off by replacing N with 9. So I know, using mental math, that 9 plus 5 is 14. So A, which we also said was 9, that is a solution. 9 is a solution. Now they gave us the option of two answers, so let's try it with the other one. Option B was 7. If I use mental math again, 7 plus 5, guess what? does not equal 14. That would mean 7 is not a solution. So now, whenever we're trying to find out if a number is a solution or it is not a solution, all we have to do is take that number, put it in place of the variable, and see if it makes the statement true. Remember, 9 plus 5 is 14. So 9 is a solution. So the next step in solution or not a solution, we'll look this way. 3 times x is equal to 12. And now what this semicolon means is they're asking is 4 a solution or not a solution to this problem. So basically I'm going to take this 4, the number that comes after the semicolon, and I'm going to replace the x with it. So 3 times x equals 12. Remember, let's replace the x with a 4. So it becomes 3 times 4. Using mental math, this shows you how important it is. 3 times 4 is 12. So then this definitely would be a solution. So I'm going to write that in. My answer is solution. And that's how we do that. Just remember, the number after the semicolon is the proposed solution, so we plug it in for x to see if it really is a solution or not. If it's not, make sure that you're going to write that it is not a solution. For my third and final step is solving equations using mental math. And look at a problem this way. 7x is equal to 35. Now remember, whenever we have two numbers next to each other or a number in a variable, it's the same as saying 7 times that number or variable. So I have 7 times x is equal to 35. Now if I use mental math, I can say 7 times what equals 35? Well, we know 7 times 5 equals 35. This would mean x equals 35. Now there's another way to solve this problem, not mental math. And the way to do that is to do the opposite operation on both sides. So if this is telling me to multiply by 7, I also want to divide now by 7 on both sides because the opposite of multiplication is division. So if I divide this by 7, it goes away. Now I want to divide 35 by 7. Let's bring this over here. 35 divided by 7. We know that 7 will go into 35 five times. So now I have checked both ways that x equals 5.